everyone, Emmy here, also known as 8 Benelo, bringing you all another video. Q Cheap Tricks just got back. Um, sorry for disappearing for like three weeks and not saying anything. Um, honestly, when I went back to my videos and realized that it has been three weeks since I have posted, um, it kind of shocked me a little bit. It has not felt like three weeks, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. Um, but almost a month, I genuinely can't believe it. So sorry about that for just completely falling off the face of the earth. Um, everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm fantastic, actually. Um, things have just been really busy with teaching and homecoming and parent-teacher conferences and then Halloween and then a couple of things that have taken up my weekend that I'm going to be talking about music related things in this video. So it's just been nuts, um, which isn't always a bad thing. Uh, but in terms of making videos and even like listening to records, that time's just been kind of condensed. But enough blabbering from my end. Let's talk about music. The first thing that I want to talk about is some VCLT that my friend Marikin sent me. And actually there's something really cool in the works. I'm not going to spoil it, but something really cool occurring between Marikin and I let's say in a month or so. So just keep an eye out on this channel, her channel. I'll link it down below. But she sent me a couple of records for VCLT and this was actually something that we had talked about a couple of months ago when she was trying to purge some of her records. Um, and I said, that's interesting, that's interesting. And then all of a sudden they showed up at my door about a month later. So you can't complain when that happens. <laughs> the first one, we have the birds. The Notorious Bird Brothers, a classic for any collection. This has the song, Why Can't I Think of It Now? That's not the song, by the way. That's just me not thinking. Going Back, that's the song I know. So The Birds, a band that I do enjoy when I listen to them, but a band whose discography I need to explore um, a little bit more. It's always that band that I want to explore more uh, and, and learn a little bit more about in terms of their discography but I just never do because there's always something that comes up, which includes a story from today that I'm gonna tell you a little later in this video. Um, but I have a connection to the birds, okay? My name, 8 Vinyl Low, my, well, not my, not Emma. My channel name, 8 Vinyl Low, is a play off of Eight Miles High from the birds. Actually, it's a play off of Cheap Tricks, Eight Miles Low from their 1997 album. But uh, he, Rick played it off of this. Long story short. Um, so I have a connection to the birds. So always has been a band that I want to explore more and get more of their discography in my collection. Now I have this one, Two Eye Columbia, gorgeous. They also sent me someone that I've also wanted to explore more in depth in terms of their music. Roy Buchanan, this is an artist that I was introduced to by Peter over at Sounds from the West Coast. He sent me VCLT a handful of months back that included I think it was called From the Beginning or In the Beginning from Roy Buchanan. And so this is an album that I'm not familiar with, but I do love me some Roy Buchanan. Really, really great blues guitarist. Um, so this is called Loading Zone on the Atlantic label. And I'm excited to give it a listen. I am sure, without a doubt, I am going to love this. Shirt that I'm wearing, Brian Wilson eating a 45. Not only is this just a kick-ass shirt. I mean, look at this. Come on. Brian Wilson, Eating a 45. I love this photo and the fact they printed it on a shirt just makes it that much better. And then the fact that this is a tour shirt, I'm not gonna turn around and show you the back. You're just gonna have to trust me. It's a tour shirt, it got the dates on the back. Makes it just that much better. So it just keeps getting better. Every little bit you learn more about this shirt. Um, huge bucket list item. A couple of weeks ago, I went to go see Brian Wilson in concert. And if you've been watching me, if you know me, you know how much I adore Brian Wilson. Love the Beach Boys. I got into them really heavily. I mean, I'm, I'm huge into them now. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. I'll talk about them any day of the week. Ask my group chats. Um, but Brian Wilson, just in general, as a musical genius, um, I just adore that man. So this was a huge bucket list item for me. Um, you know, when COVID hit and touring stopped and concerts stopped, especially with the state that Brian was in with uh, the tours kind of right before COVID and not feeling right and performing um, to in a way that I feel like he wasn't having fun doing it. Um, it was really sad to see. And then when COVID hit, uh, I genuinely believed that I would never 
have the opportunity to see Brian Wilson. And I told myself once, if he ever announces, if he's going on tour, I don't care if I have to fly to Canada, to Europe, wherever, wherever I'm going. Um, luckily, I didn't have to fly that far. He came to Illinois. So uh, pre-sale tickets, I was on for that. I think I'd mentioned it on here. Uh, months ago when those tickets came out and I ended up getting seventh row center section on the aisle So I had a clear shot that show was a couple of weeks ago guys It was and I'm not just saying this because I love Brian and you know, I want to seem happy on this video It was amazing. It was better than I than I had anticipated going in again. I'm not just saying this he looked Brian that is looked and sounded absolutely incredible his voice was so clear and i'm telling you guys and i'll show you in my videos he looked like he was having fun which is honestly all i you know all i want out of his performances because he deserves it he has nothing to prove to anybody so just want him up there having fun and it really felt like he was and of course you had al jardine you had blondie there who absolutely killed sail on sailor just did a phenomenal job that was one of my favorite highlights of the night his performance blondie is of sail on sailor so and the, i don't know if this has always been the case with brian shows like i said this was my first one but they went through like 30 songs in an hour and a half and that was it the concert wasn't that long, but they went through like 30 songs. anything better it was a phenomenal night i got this kick-ass t-shirt out of it and uh, it was a huge bucket list item knocked off the last thing that i want to talk about is a concert that occurred before brian so it's been a few weeks now it's probably been a, about a month or maybe even a little over a month now since it's been a while since i've talked to all of you uh, i want to go see bob mold on his solo electric tour so just bob mold his guitar and his voice and um before going into the show, Bob Mould was an artist and his music and his discography uh, was something that I was not all too familiar with. Now, of course, I've heard of Bob Mould and I've heard of Sugar uh, and I've heard of Husker Du, but I had never really delved deep into his music before, especially when it comes to just his solo material. Husker Du, I know a little bit. Sugar, Legendary Jim Gifted Me Copper Blue, which is actually now over the last about a month and month and a half has become a, a favorite of mine. Phenomenal album. Um, but yeah, so I went to go see Bob Mould and I kind of went into it not knowing a lot. Of course, my buddy John over at the Digital Gramophone, that's kind of his like, guy. He talks about him a lot. He really enjoys his music. So I felt like I had to go see him. I had to go see what this guy was all about. <laughs> Again, absolutely blown away. Just blown away. For it just being him, his voice, and a guitar, he was amazing. I mean, immediate fan for life when he got through the performance. It was probably an hour and a half as well, and just like Brian, I mean, this guy ripped through, and he was alone through like 25 songs. A mixture of solo material, a mixture of sugar, a mixture of Husker Du. I mean, it was a mixture of everything. The crowd was loving it. I was loving it. Everybody was loving it. It was just one love, so... That's all I have to say.
I saw after the show, everybody was finally out when he was done, and someone had run up to kind of to the stage to see if he would sign a poster as Bob was kind of clearing up, because he's just his own stage hand. I mean, it's just his guitar, so he's kind of cleaning up, and Bob just puts up his finger like this, and I'm like, I think he might come out. So everybody's almost gone besides maybe like 15 people, including me. And 20 minutes later, who walks out? Bob Mould, you know, we're all wearing masks, whatever walks out and he starts hanging out with everybody. This guy is, I mean, people have like stacks of records, right? Ranging from everything, stacks of records. He's signing all of them, he's fist pumping everybody, he's talking to everybody, he's taking pictures with everybody. So not only did I become a fan of Bob Mould because he's an amazing artist and an amazing performer and puts on an amazing show, but I'm a fan of Bob Mould just as a human being, genuine down-to-earth human being. He was so nice to me. It was an experience I will never, ever forget. And so um, I did get a record signed when I was there. I picked this up when he came out. I picked this up from the merch booth because I'm like, I gotta get a record signed. That's my thing. Um, so I, I ended up getting this signed and I got something else signed as well. But this is the one that I was most excited about. This is a compilation, Bob Mold, Distortion, part of kind of, he put out, I think three box sets a while back, with like 11 records each. Maybe something I get in the future, but this is a good kind of small compilation 2LP of that material. And this is called Distortion, the best of 1989 to 2019. So I got that signed. I had him make it out to me. So there was no mistake about it that this was for me. And then I also picked up, and I didn't get this signed because I actually ended up getting something signed for a friend of mine. But I also got this, and I didn't want to bombard him because it was Bob Mould, and I just didn't want to do that. Um, although I'm sure he would have um, signed it anyway. But I also picked up his most recent solo release from last year, Bob Mould Blue Hearts, which is also absolutely fantastic. So, like I said, after that night, huge, huge fan of Bob Mould. He's definitely an artist that I have been really focused on right now in terms of not only his solo material, but I know that I need to get file under Easy Listening, I think that's called, from Sugar. Um, I have Copper Blue and I have the EP that came with it. Um, and then, obviously, Hunting Down Husker Du, which is probably going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm up for it. So that's kind of my new obsession now. So thank you, John, um, for doing that to me and my wallet. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have for this video. Like I said, not a huge vinyl update, but I got some really cool VCLT kick-ass shirt and a couple of really cool concert experiences with some signed records. So can't complain. Um, but with that, everybody, I hope that I don't disappear for another three weeks. That's not the plan. So keep an eye out and we'll see what happens. Hope that all of you are doing well. Let me know down below how you're doing. I know it's been a while, so I wanna check in with some of you who I usually talk to um, through the videos and on the comments. And um, that's all. Bye guys.